Howdy folks, you're watching Deuce and Guns, and today we're talking about my brand new to me Star BM pistol. First of all, I got to clean up my desk here because I just got done videoing my previous video on the GSG magazine. As I said before in that video, this is what we're going to be taking a look at here. And I just picked this up. I got this at AIM Sports and this thing cost $170. Now, they're already out of them. They only had these for sale. These, these are kind of the worst, the bottom of the barrel. But they only got these, had these on sale for about two, three days before they were sold out. And I barely got in on it. And they still have them for sale everywhere for under $200 or right at $200. So let's take a look at it. First of all, you still get them in the original box. These are, these are made in Spain, and I believe they were used for the police force or some sort of security force in Spain, but they are made by the Star, the Star Company, and it's model BM. So there we go. You see, you open it up there. You got a instruction manual. Instruction manual, of course, is all in Spanish, so I don't know Spanish. I followed a very pretty girl into French class and don't know a lick of Spanish. I don't know a look of French either. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take this sucker apart. And it pretty much, from what I understand, I've not seen anyone take one of these apart. So you're going to see me do it here live, kind of, sort of, right here. And it comes apart mostly like a 1911. So you bring it back here and you pop out the, get that lined up with, with the extractor, with the, uh, there we go. There we go, just like a 1911. You got your recoil, oh, the recoil spring is captured. Isn't that cool? So the recoil spring is all captured, not like a real 1911 where it just was a spring across the, across your bunker. It's got a tiny little nine millimeter short barrel there with an actual, an actual linkage there. Just like, just like a normal 1911. It honestly does look like a normal 1911. That's great, that's perfect. The grips, the grips look like they're walnut. They're not, they're plastic. And it looks like someone at Century Arms has gone through with a scotch bright pad, especially on the slide where, where, they, where they put in their own initials there. You can see there's obviously some scotch bright markings there. That might've been where they had the engrave. Perfect. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Of course, it's a lock back here, and I've got to keep the mag in there because it does have a disconnect, so I can't pull the trigger unless the mag's in it. There is not much of a beaver tail there. Not too much of a beaver tail. If you got a big meaty, you know, glove mitt of a hand, you could definitely, let me go back here, let me show you that. So if you got a big meaty grip there, you might get a slide bite there. You might get a, get a trigger or hammer bite there. Okay, yeah, so it's four, almost five pounds. And that's, I guess that's where I normally would pull. Yeah, yeah, I'm normally pulling way down here. This is my lead cast ammo here. I really use this for competition because it's pretty low power. So that's 124 grain traveling at just over supersonic, but not just barely, just enough to make qualifications. Let's see, there's eight rounds. It only holds eight. Beautiful Tennessee day and weather. It's about 85, 86 degrees today, which is nice. All right, here we go. First shot, for me at least. Got everything all set up here, good to go. It chambered, that's always a good sign. Okay, I'm gonna go to that top target there. Did I already shoot that? No, I'm not shot that yet. All right, here we go. All right. And those bees are buzzing me. <laughs> Another eight rounds here. Let me take a look at one of those brass cases here that just shot. Always do that, especially with surplus. You never know what you're going to get. Take a look here. You got a nice dimple there on, on the primer. Well, keep in focus there. Come on, Cannon. Nice dimple there on the primer. No problems there. No scorch marks. This thing's dialed in. I only have the one mag, unfortunately. I've got others on the way ordered, 
but I was just so excited to get this video out. I can't wait for it. She's a shooter. Okay, this is the Monarch 115 grain ammo. Full power load. I'm gonna drop down to the next, oh, the next target down there. Again, chambers up, that's always good. All right, here we go. Oh, I got a little bit of a little bit of hammer bite there. Not slide bite. The slide is pretty far up there. But if you look, of course, this is safe. It's still unloaded and everything. But that hammer, let's let's drop it there. The hammer can go down and get your get your hand in. again, just like a 1911. It's a single stack, eight round mag there. Window in the side is nice to have. Okay, back to same same target there. Pretty good, pretty good. I mean, it's not a it's not a match grade firearm. Of course, it's not a match grade firearm, but that's a what six inch target? I can't remember what size those are. Six or seven inch target, right around there. Quick fire with random cheap ammo. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Now I forgot to bring hollow point ammo, so I'm gonna rob some from my. Uh, there we go from my Smith & Wesson Shield, my actual carry gun. So this is my true carry ammo. Now this is a plus P ammo. And it feels it too, you can definitely feel it. Yep. Yeah, plus P ammo, it feels a little different. Still for the most part on target, but yeah, plus P ammo you can I'm not even sure I'd even think about that until after I shot a couple of rounds. Hmm. I'm not sure if this is rated for plus P ammo or not. You uh, might not want to do that if you get one of these, which I do recommend to get one of these. I cannot believe how well this thing shot. Of course, go ahead and take it out of the box. Love it got the box. And it is, of course, empty. Always got to show that on YouTube because people lose their minds if I don't. First of all, let's go over the targets real quick. And here I have them up here. The very first one is the, the lead. This is the homebrew that I put together for my competition load. It's a, it's a low power nine millimeter. It barely qualifies for three gun and USPSA matches because it's just so low power. And it's super cheap for me to load too, which is a win-win as far as I can, I'm concerned. But it functioned flawlessly in that. I did not get one jam. I put about a hundred rounds for this thing today. The factory full metal jacket, 115 grain bullets. Here we go. That was, that's still, still really good. Couple of mags of that here. Did just fine. And then the hollow point. I wasn't sure about the hollow point, but it did just fine too. I mean, it's a little spread out as well. I did not do anything special to this. I ran a boar snake through the, through the barrel and I threw a little bit of Hoppy's uh, gun oil in it and it went to the range. That was it. No fancy stuff, no fancy teardown, no changing out springs. Now these star model BMs have been imported by several different companies. Mine it happens to be imported by Century Arms International, which most of them right now in the market are. Now I did a little bit of research here and it turns out these were made of course for the military and for the police in Spain. And they were produced from 1972 all the way to 1992, which makes, which makes them pretty much a little bit too new to be considered Curio Relic, so you have to go through a normal firearm dealer for that. The serial number, you can look this up on Wikipedia, but the serial number for mine puts it in a very early part of that. So this is this is a probably a 1970s vintage because the serial number is a very early run on the serial number list I have because it has a range that starts at like 1.2, 1.3 million. 
and this is in the 1.3 million range so it would have been probably in the disco era as far as form and function goes everything i have to say about this pistol is good is golden it has a decent trigger it's not a mass trigger but it's a decent trigger it's about five pounds i showed you that and it's very crisp though it's very crisp trigger there's very little take up you can see that right there of course it's empty but let me go ahead and you got that little take up right there and boom now you've heard all the good and there's a ton of good there's a ton of positive about this pistol the price the uh, the shootability the ruggedness everything about this pistol is golden but there's always got to be a catch if you've got some some big old cowboy hands you might have a problem with that you might need to find some sort of magazine floor plate extension or something like that because your pinky might be going right off the edge or might be stuck on the very edge of that magazine floor plate and that would kind of suck issue number two is the slide stop is not spring loaded just like a normal 1911 it's not spring loaded it's not held down by a spring but the detent is doesn't hold it down either that well and it's a very large slide stop a couple times while shooting my grip you know there's a slide stop right there and my grip would accidentally hit that and nudge that let me drop the magazine here so it it should go forward the slides should go forward no problem but while shooting i would accidentally bump that slide stop up into the position to hold the slide back and that just happened that happened a few times and that could very well have been just my simple grip I mean, that's the way that's the only thing i think of because there's nothing wrong with the pistol so the grip or the the slide stop it it's much easier to accidentally bump that slide stop far enough up to capture the slide while shooting a third issue are the mags the mags are proprietary to the star model bm and i'm not sure if they make any aftermarket ones or not so you might want to go ahead and grab a few if you buy one of these and they're not they're not expensive you can get them for about 20 bucks a piece right now but i don't know if they'll be i mean they've not made this since the 90s so i'm not sure if you'll be able to get a hold of these for very cheap for very long and lastly this is a used pistol this is mine happens to be a very used pistol which is why it was 170 bucks but these are used pistols they have a a unique enough design to the point where it will be difficult to find parts and there is no warranty so if you buy one of these take it to the range as soon as possible and shoot several mags through because if you keep this pistol beyond your normal purchasing guarantee that whatever seller offers you then it is yours in sickness or in health this pistol is yours you might be able to find parts for it you might not someone might make some extra parts for it at some point they may not but you're not going to have the warranty especially you're not going to have the warranty that high point has which basically forever and ever and always you can get your high point fixed and repaired this you're going to be on your own but again 200 bucks so if you're in a market for a 1911 or not even 1911 just a a nine millimeter pistol that is cheap to buy cheap to shoot and feels fantastic in the hand take a look at the star model bm pistols these are phenomenal i i can't believe i feel like i stole it i feel like i owe someone some extra money after shooting this now because of youtube's new firearm rules they've got in place i cannot give you direct links to these pistols i'm just not allowed to do it anymore but you can find these at uh, aimsurplus.com which i this is where i got this one from they're out of the really cheap versions but they still got them for 200 and 220 and they have some almost brand new looking ones for like 230 i think so that would be up to you if you want one that's been been through the ringer or not this was definitely been through the ringer and it still shot great so i don't think the surface wear has anything to do with its shootability but they have them classicfirearms.com has them for about 200 bucks or so and i'm sure there are several other businesses out there that have them for sale for about the same price as well well guys that's it for me today hope you enjoyed it if you did give me a like and go subscribe a lot more is on the way and if you have any comments questions or show what it is leave that in the comment box below the video and of course you guys have a great day see ya man i feel like i stole this thing